Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to another viewer suggested custom battle. And I've received a bunch of these from you guys. I've been keeping track of all of them. I'm going to try to get to as many of them as I possibly can. This one comes from one of our most active viewers. It's HMS Nelson. And uh, let me go ahead and read to you what he has suggested here. And uh, there's not, really, not a lot to it, but it's going to be an interesting challenge. Uh, here's what he said. The British Naval Air Command has reported that a very large vessel has been spotted leaving a fjord in Norway. They believe it was the Turpets. The British di dispatched three torpedo squadrons uh, to deal with it, plane squadrons. Only one heavily damaged plane returned. The crew informed the Admiralty this ship is larger than the Turpets and two uh, destroyer escorts. It has very big guns and is well armored. The Admiralty decides that any warship currently is not strong enough to take on this super warship, and it would be suicide. They do not have time to build a new ship, so they decide to upgrade a current battleship. But unfortunately, most ships are at port and will take a long time to return. Only the HMS Nelson is in port. Just finished being repaired after hitting a mine again. The Admiralty has a few details regarding the upgrade, except the following. Must retain the original gun layout of the main guns due to the hull and superstructure. Must be accurate and must have more armor. They also asked to upsize the guns if possible and keep its original name, HMS Nelson. Uh, the fleets the British have uh, one battleship, four destroyers versus one German battleship, one heavy cruiser. Uh, Admiral Scheer has joined the attempt to break out to the Atlantic and two destroyers. Both have 1940 tech. Uh, so we're going to basically build a upgraded version of the HMS Nelson. And we'll go ahead and start it. He didn't give any parameters for where we start. So we'll start at 30,000 meters. Uh, so let's go ahead and design this ship. Okay, so first things first, uh, we need to put the towers on this thing. But uh, Nelson is a tricky build uh, because you have to have three guns up front. And I've been tasked with keeping that same layout. Uh, so we're going to see what we can do about this. It's going to make it very front heavy. Um, but what we want to do is we want to go one down here, one on a barbette, and then another one down in front of that. So uh, let's go with a very tall superimposed barbette if we can. I don't know if this is going to be big enough for what we want to do because uh, he did tell me I could upgrade the guns. So we're going to go with 18-inch guns. Now, Nelson did have triples, so we'll keep that. But, yeah, I don't think those... And I don't, nah, we're not going to be able to get three 18s on the front of this thing. Okay, so in order to get the traditional Nelson build, I had to actually take this thing down smaller. Because what happens is when you make it bigger, it makes you put the thing closer to the center, the, the main tower. So uh, if we do it this way, we might be able to get these guns on here. I just don't think we're going to be able to go up to 15s and still squeeze three barrels on this thing so we're going to try or 18s um, i'm going to try 16s and see if that works i think we can pull off 16s yep that'll work but you can see how heavy the the weight offset is going to be on this thing when we do that and speed's going to be an issue too because we can only get one funnel on this thing this way so if i if i go bigger there's why i run into the issue where i can't move the tower back no matter what i do so i might have to go with a different a different hull to make this happen so if i go with something like this it works a little better but you can see the big difference in displacement in terms of how how huge this ship now is so yeah you know, i'm really really limited here because of this gun placement which the game's really just not prepared to make this kind of setup the right way but that's a little better now um so let's try a, now we can get a super funnel it's going to be a bigger ship this way but I think this ought to do the trick. Now we got to rename it. So it certainly isn't you know, a traditional British hull now. But I think this is going to work. Alright, I've got a good start now. But we also have to think about secondary guns. And at least on this particular hull, we're able to do casemate guns. 
and that gives us eight inch casemate guns which will work out nicely against his destroyers but it does mess up my my weight again so we're gonna have to look at ways that we can compensate for that I think I'm gonna go with heavy shells but I'm getting super close on weight and I haven't been able to add a tremendous amount of armor so far and no anti-torpedo belt at the time or at the moment uh, we're not gonna worry about torpedoes we've got sonar we've got radar We've got our Coincidence Rangefinder 5. I think that's all pretty good. I did manage to squeeze uh, some 5 inch guns on the side, some 4 inch guns up here, a couple of different places. So that gives us some added secondaries. I had to pull these casemate guns out here. For some reason, they were interfering with my tower. Although now I can put them back in and they're not. That leaves us about 4,500 tons for armor so that's not a lot and honestly i'd rather kind of protect my tower than much of anything else i'm going to get a little bit more belt armor on this thing let's see if we can get it up to maybe 16 maybe eight inches on the deck and that actually brings us into a better range with the uh the weight offset on the front too i am still pretty concerned about my ability to hit anything I don't know what kind of accuracy we're going to have. I'm not going to worry about the belt extended. I'd rather put a little bit more on the belt itself. Okay. I don't know how this is going to go, but we're going to give it a try and see what happens. We've got 30 knots of speed. Okay, let's dive in. Okay, let's see what happens with this. One battleship, four destroyers up against a German battleship, heavy cruiser, and two destroyers. All right, Nelson, let's do this. Let's get a look at this thing. And what do we have with us? Chameleon, Huon, Parker, Waldegrave. All right, and as I typically do, I'm going to go ahead and... Actually, I don't think I will put them on AI since I've got a pretty small group here. Looks like we've already spotted this guy. And he's running away, but he's definitely got some guns on this thing. Those look like they're probably 15s. He's got some real nice secondaries. That's going to be a problem for my destroyers if they try to get in too close. All right. Have we not got him in range yet? How far away is he? What's the range on these guns? Let's take a look and see. Okay, 4 inch guns, 10 kilometers, 5 inch, 12, 8 inch, 16. Oh, he's just out of range of my 16 inch guns. So we're going to have to turn and pursue. Thankfully, all my guns are on the front. And I've got a decent amount of speed. It's actually not a terrible turn radius either. Here we go. The guns are in action now. Oh, that's nice. Why is the front one not firing? Oh, they were just doing a ranging shot. Now it's going to fire. Okay, let's get a look at this guy. Now he's turning. Looks like here's the uh, the cruiser coming straight at me. We're gonna go for that cruiser first. Try to take it down. Thing's pretty heavily armored too. Armed too. So I've got to slow down, get my accuracy going. All right, I'll go ahead and put them on AI, at least for now. I may not keep them there. This is the guy we're after. I'm not too concerned about his two destroyers. I'm just concerned about knocking out some of the guns. If I can take out the cruiser, I feel like one-on-one -on -one against the battleship, I'll be okay.
Ah, didn't mean to go back to him. I just wanted to have it selected, but I guess I already did. Yeah, we're not even coming close right now. It's our distance. Still 24 kilometers out. I don't want to get too close, though. I am very curious to see what kind of damage I do when I land a hit. Alright, let's go ahead and turn just a just a little bit. I mean I think I've I'm think I'm pretty well able to fire here. It looks like we might not quite have the angle for that rear gun. Nobody's landed a hit yet. We're still not real good on the accuracy. Let's see how we're coming. He's still coming toward me. And now he's firing back from his battleship. These are going to be a little closer. No hits, but super close. Yeah, we're getting there. Oh, he just landed a hit. Sixteen inch guns. That's what his battleship has. Oh, we might have a hit here. This is going to be close. Ah, it's going to be overshoot. He just hit me again. Alright, what's our distance now? 17 kilometers. Still can't seem to hit him. We're about to get in range with the 8-inch guns, which tend to be fairly accurate. We're at 3% on the 16s now. Man, he's landed another hit. I'm going to drop to 23 because our own cruise speed bonus isn't real high yet. Oh, fires. Man, he's got the range on me. 12 hits so far, and I haven't landed a single one. All right, we're starting to get that cruise speed bonus up a little more now. I'm going to go ahead and turn because I don't like the angle I'm at. A little too broadside for me. Where are my destroyers? They're way back there. Hey, destroyers. Help me out here. I'm really not sure what they're doing. All right, we landed a hit with the eight inch guns and the 16s. All right, I'm gonna just control these destroyers manually, I guess. Okay, they're going now. I, I just had to give them screen orders instead of AI. We're down to 13 kilometers on this guy now. We ought to see this AP start to really penetrate if we can hit him. So he's got 9 inch guns on this one. Oh, now he's turning right, right at me.
There's a nice hit. That did some nice damage. So you got torpedoes. That looks like looks like the maneuver he would make if he was firing torpedoes. The Limburg. Yeah, he did he did fire torpedoes. And there they are. Not gonna come anywhere close because I just turned. Now he's running away. So he won't be firing for a couple of minutes. Alright, here we go. This should be a hit. Oh, overshot everything. We're up to 5.5% with the 16s. We're at 10% with the 8s. What kind of armor has this guy got? He's got maximum bulkheads. Max of 7 and 8. Seven and a half inches of armor. And that's on the turret. So he's got 5.4 on the belt. Three on the deck. At this range, we ought to be able to penetrate that. I'm going to try some HE shells. All right, there's another torpedo in the water. Right there. HE's not working. Where's that torpedo? He's at a tough angle for me now. Maybe I should go after the Kaiser Wilhelm de Gross. Let's go ahead and fire on him for a little bit. We'll fire the secondaries. On Limburg. That'll include the 8-inch guns. We could still get some decent damage with 8-inch guns from this distance. What are the destroyers doing? I don't know, but let's get there. Smoke going. Okay, those are 16. So he's got the same size guns as me, just not quite as many of them. Overall, not a lot of damage caused on either side so far. And a pretty substantial number of hits on both sides. Oh, we got an ammo detonation. Didn't do a lot of damage, but that works. My destroyers are coming up to, um, they've only got two, two torpedoes apiece. So they're not necessarily going to do a lot with torpedoes. Oh, we're up to a 15% accuracy now on the, on the 16s. That's a little better.
Oh, there's a hit on one of my destroyers. They got their torpedoes in the water. Go ahead and turn some more. We're landing some good hits on the battleship. What's his armor look like? He's got maximum bulkheads. 55,000 displacement. It's not that much smaller than me, really. He's got 12 inch belt armor. Six and a half belt extended, six and a half deck. Honestly, I mean, that's a decent battleship compared to what I have. I've got quite a bit more belt armor. Not much more deck. Oh, dang. Chameleon just took a ammo detonation hit from a 9-inch gun. Honestly, if they're not going to be able to fire any more torpedoes, there's very little my destroyers can do for me. Speaking of, where are those torpedoes? Nice hit. Wasn't a lot of damage. He's going after my destroyers. Well, no, the big guns are going after mine. My battleship. Where are those torpedoes? Oh, wow, what happened? Flash fire. Dang. Just after I went off of her, I totally missed that. We got a big flash fire in the rear of the ship. Wow. You know, when we get to campaigns and you score a hit like that, that's going to be exciting stuff. Because that's going to be, you know, that's unexpected. You're feeling like, okay, I think I've got the edge on this, but he's still far from being sunk. And then something like that happens. That's, you know, like... Like what happened when the Bismarck scored her hit on the hood. Uh, just completely unexpected, and you take out a major warship with, a, with one hit. I mean, I hit him more times than that, but it was one hit that really did him in. All right, this became a whole lot easier now. And this is the point at which Lindbergh would be turning tail and running as fast as possible. Especially from this distance. I mean, six kilometers, they're done. They're absolutely done. I'd like to not lose any more of my destroyers. I'm not sure that's going to happen, though. Because all three of them are looking rough. All right, Nelson, take this guy out. Oh, we got a flash fire on one of his. Oh, jeez. The Parker just exploded. I think we got Lindbergh, though. There goes Waldergrave. I've lost three of my destroyers now. See, he's still firing his big guns on the destroyers instead of on me. I guess he figures he... I don't know if he figures he can't penetrate my deck armor from here, or my belt armor. Alright, Limburg's done. And it's just a question of whether or not there's enough flooding happening. I think there is. Yeah, we got him. Bye-bye. That just leaves the destroyers. 
The battleship's still going under. Oh, that looks... That's so cool to look at. The German flag still fluttering. Just tipping over at an interesting angle, too. Okay. Destroyers are like... <laughs> What do we do now? I'm actually going to fire my big guns on that one. I'm going to watch those torpedoes. The battle got a lot quieter now that I only have one gun firing big, big guns. Or one ship firing big guns. All right. That leaves you, my friend. It's only going to take one 16-inch shell to finish this guy. Maybe even an 8. Oh, my. He just nailed me with a couple of torpedoes. Didn't even realize they'd gotten that close. I got so excited about finishing him off. That's some discipline that I'm going to have to get better at in the campaign. Because, you know, in a, in a custom battle like this, I'm thinking, okay, I've got this. Nothing to worry about. But in a campaign, him scoring that kind of a hit on me would be devastating at the end of a battle that I've all but won. I can't let that kind of damage happen. And there's another torpedo that's about to nail me. So I'd have to be much, much more cautious of those kinds of things. Because Nelson would limp out of here after that. But that, there you have it. That one was for uh, our user, HMS Nelson. Uh, I've got a bunch more that I want to get to. But if you do have a user uh, scenario that you'd like to present me, and it can be for any time. It doesn't have to be 1940. Anywhere from 1890 to 1940, any of the nations involved, create a story. Give me a scenario. Uh, the best place to do that is on Discord. If you send me a private message, it's the easiest way for me to keep track. Uh, I've had a couple people email me. Um, you can also use the comment section below on this video. But if you would, please leave a like and a comment of some kind. And uh, we will see you again in a couple days with another one of these custom scenarios. Thanks for watching.